Hello, I'm Dr. Reese Barrick, and you're here at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. We're here in the lobby where you get a chance to see our friend, the plesiosaur, Brachychenius, up here on our ceiling, and also our friend uh, Levi, the alligator snapping turtle, our 100 pound alligator snapping turtle, as well as Chompers, our alligator, and our alligator garfish. We have a whole lot of adventures uh, for you and your family to visit while you're here under the dome. While you're here in the museum, some of the adventures you'll want to see are the fossil history of western Kansas when Kansas was under a 300 foot deep ocean where there's many, many sea monsters. Uh, there's also always a traveling exhibit. Every year we have something that we try to bring something new and exotic that most people do not get a chance to see in western Kansas. We also have a discovery room where the whole family will get a chance to see and play with live animals as well as learn all about the natural history of Kansas. You're also going to want to have a chance to go up and visit the diorama with our roaring T-Rex, which the kids always love. And of course, the thing that our uh, museum is most famous for is the fish within a fish, Xyphactinus which was discovered by our namesake, George Sternberg. And we also have a fabulous Dr. Howard Reynolds nature trail that you'll want to visit. And while on the nature trail, you have the opportunity to visit the fabulous Paraguayan sculpture, Homage to Kansas. Ross and Mariana Beach started the first Sister City program in Hayes, Kansas. They also introduced Hayes to a famous Paraguayan artist who built a monument in Hayes. The monument is located near Sternberg Museum. The monument is entitled Homage to Kansas. I'm here today to visit with Mariana Beach about the monument and just about Sister City. Can you tell us about the famous artist that uh, you brought to Hayes and how you met him and, and why he was selected to do the monument? Herman Gudiari. Now, what, repeat his name again so we all understand his name. Herman Gudiari <laughs> was a delightful human being. I think I was sitting in his treehouse having a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Mika Merson who was the uh, person with whom we worked, said that he would be the ideal person to come and, and yes. do a sculpture. And so that's how that So him and his about. wife came, and his wife spoke English, and so uh -huh. we communicated. And we kept them in um, Hayes at the, um, we put them in, in an apartment in the, on the campus. On the campus uh -huh. apartment. And they were delighted. They uh -huh. thought that was welcoming to have a whole apartment, yes. you know. And, and other sc Hay sculptures helped him, like Pete Felton, I recall. Oh, yes. They, they were great. Now, some people from Paraguay said to me that they didn't, they didn't like his sculpture, but it meant something to him. And he, he was expressing what he felt about how here with the spirit, you see Rose, it was built up, and he got, he worked with metal. Yes, he worked with metal. metal and, and with rocks. St and stone. And, right. Yes. And then, and plants. Yes. Yes. Which was? All together. They had to work together. The monument is located near Sternberg Museum. If you have time, I advise you take a short walk northwest of Storn Sternberg Museum past the Howard Reynolds Nature Trail to the monument. The monument is entitled Homage to Kansas. <laughs> 